This episode on Compost TV, we're looking at the quantification or the estimation of the quantity of composting material we've got in a pile. Now there's different ways that you can do this. I'm going to show you a basic ground survey. This can work if you have reasonably neat compost piles and a reasonably level surface. The more variation you have in the surface, the more variation you have in the site and the width and the structure and shape of your compost piles, the less accurate this is going to be. So what do we need? We need levelling rods, so that gets us our height. We need a tape, a, a um, cloth tape, you can get these in many different lengths. We've got a measuring wheel. All right. You want the one of these that's got the biggest wheel possible. Small wheels are no good on a rough surface and you want one if you can that's got some sort of grip on the wheel. When you're using these you really want to roll along with them carefully and gently and you really need to scalp this surface to make it as smooth as possible with the loader before rolling down it. Every undulation, bump and hump that you go over introduces variation in the distance. So if you have a site that's too irregular that's where you're better off going with a cloth tape to get your distance. The other tool that you need, or need, the tool that is really helpful, it's a sight meter. It's a level sight meter. All right. So what's happening is this is all well and fine to get a height, but you need to sight across the windrow. So let's go down to the loader and we'll have a look at how we do it. It's a really simple little meter. Inside here it has a little spirit level. When you look through it there's a reflection that allows you to see the spirit level against some crosshairs. So with your adjustment of this you can actually look across using the spirit level and get an exact level reading. Better if you're still, better if you're well supported. Better if you can see over the windrow but fortunately we've got a tool that can help you see over the windrow. Oh my goodness who put that there? It's a loader. So a handy thing about a loader is they have an access ladder and that lets you get up and look across to sight across to your mate who's got your levelling rod on the other side and that lets you actually pick the level at which you can see over the pile onto the levelling rod. You have to make an allowance for any curvature of the top and that's an estimate. We'll go and have a look at the ends but I'll just throw up the graphic so you can see the basic calculation that allows for the slope the angle of the sides of the windrow and the ends. We don't need to know what the angle is as long as it's reasonably similar on both sides and both ends of the windrow. So it's a simple length by width by height calculation. It's simple geometry. We just need to take into an account the slopes on either side of the windrow and at the end we need to get as accurate a reading from the top as we can to get the height of the windrow we need to get a correct length and a correct width. So again the more regular the shape of the windrow the more accurate your estimation will be of the volume that you have. This is called a ground survey. This is exactly the way that a quantity surveyor will do it. They'll take a lot more care and they'll charge you more money, but you can do this on site yourself and get a pretty reasonable estimation of the quantity of material in a pile. So you can see the length of this windrow. The angle is pretty consistent all the way along. Because you've got a consistent shape, it allows you to make a more um, consistent and reasonable estimate of the volume using basic geometry. What we're looking at here is called the angle of repose. It's the angle at which the material comes to rest as its natural fall. Now this is dictated by the size and shape and moisture content and the matrix, if you like, of the material. So it's different for different materials. But when we're looking at the geometry of a windrow where we've got a long pile, we've got a fairly similar gradient right along, Effectively we've got the same gradient on both sides, so as long as we know the distance from the apex out to the edge, we can subtract that off the full width, that triangle effectively flips over to the other side of the pile and we end up with a rectangular shape to calculate for our profile. Then we multiply that by the length and we have an estimate of the quantity of that windrow. The tools that you need for this, quite literally, 
the wheel, the rod, the tape, the sight level, you're looking at about 200, 250 bucks to be able to do this at your own site. When you combine that with your bulk density, all of a sudden you can translate from the volume of a pile into the mass or estimate the mass of material that you have there. And that allows you to actually um, schedule your irrigation to re-wet that up to a moisture content as it suits you. It allows you to actually quantify the amount of time that you're going to need to allocate to load shift that material with different size buckets for your loaders. It gives you tools that you can use to better manage your compost facility, again for a more reliable and consistent outcome at a known cost.